Students are back in school and just over the past two weeks, we've already seen children being arrested because of weapons and fights on campus. So what is the state of mind for children in our area and how are they really doing? Jack Harrison and Sean Wilson joins us to tell us about a community youth justice town hall that will answer those questions and try to provide solutions. Thank both of you all for joining us. And Jack, I'm going to start with you because you are the director of the LSU Law Center Juvenile Defense Clinic. So how are children and what makes you all decide to put on this town hall. Thank you, Red. Well, it's great to be here, and, and I will have to say that the children are doing a lot better than a lot of people think. And so this Youth Justice Town Hall is an opportunity for a number of groups who work directly with young people who are entering our juvenile justice system. It's a number of groups who work with these young people, either as attorneys representing them or community organizations that work with young people. Uh, and we're going to have the opportunity to have a good direct conversation with members of the community. These are groups that people don't generally hear from in any public forum. They generally don't have much of a media voice. And so we are looking forward to going directly to the community for this town hall on Saturday morning at the Butler Center. And we look forward to having more of these community town hall meetings across Baton Rouge over the coming months. Sean actually works for the uh, Louisiana Center for Children's Rights out of New Orleans. I know that you all do have a Baton Rouge office as well. What's your take on where things stand right now with our youth? So it's, it's right, we, we, the, the default shouldn't be put kids in prison right, lock them up and throw away the keys, right? I mean, we, we need solutions before things get to the point where they gotta go to prison. Different programs, right? Everybody can't be a rapper, everybody can't be a football player. Mm -hmm. We need different programs set up where these kids can embrace, all right, this fit me. A newscaster, right? We need this, these programs that it is, if you're not a football player or a rapper, then what else for to do? Straight to the prison. Or straight to the prison. And we do know that there are racial disparities when it comes to uh, the, the justice system, but when it comes to particular like youth, what are you all seeing on that, Jack? Reggie, I think the racial disparity in the juvenile justice system here in Baton Rouge is far more profound than anyone would imagine. The, the population breakdown in Baton Rouge is about 48% each white and black citizens mm -hmm. and the the youth represented in the juvenile justice system here hovers between 90 and 95 percent black youth it's 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 profound it's um it's untenable it's unfair and it's it's really ineffective as young people are immersed into the juvenile justice system the deeper they are are immersed generally the worse the outcomes an interesting report just came out from the Southern Poverty Law Center, a group that LCCR works with, uh, that, that indicated that <clears throat> the higher and the longer uh, a child is placed in state custody mm -hmm. and the more uh, <clears throat> secure kinds of facilities in which they are placed, you have much higher recidivism rates than youth who are served in their communities, in their homes. Um, and so, uh, as, as Sean mentioned, you know, the default position of putting kids directly into pr prison mm -hmm. uh, has, uh, has a much worse outcome. And for those recidivism rates, when we talk about that, <clears throat> we, can, we can realize there are other victims out there, mm -hmm. people who perhaps would not be victimized had these youth been uh, treated appropriately. Uh, in their in their communities and in their homes. So, Sean, since you all did that report, did you all, uh, I guess, uh, come up with any type of solutions to try to deal with that? Yeah, the solution is um, what we're doing right now, talking to the public. Right, we need we need the public to come to the town hall meeting and educate the public on what solution that we have in place. Okay. Some of the great work that LCCR has done in Baton Rouge is the placement of social workers mm -hmm. with the juvenile public defenders. And these social workers are able to work with these youth and work with their families from the moment they come into contact with the system and find the resources, find the services that these children need and their children, that the services that these children need in order to get on the better path. And this, this uh, social work uh, placement began in 2017, and it's done amazing work. So since you all want the public to come to the town hall, give us those details uh, about when and where 
and all of that good information. The town hall will be this Saturday at nine, beginning at 9.30 at the Leo S. Butler Center on Lori Burgess. Um, and it'll go until about noon. Uh, and there will be a, some presentations from each of these groups and opportunities to have direct conversations with these groups and more.